Hi, my name is Michelle and today I wish to share with you the healing benefits and qualities of Tantric Massage. Now in Western society we still seem to hold Tantra in this very taboo idea that it's simply all about sex, performing for longer so that we may give and receive greater amounts of pleasure. And I feel very sad and very passionate about this as I feel that it prevents us from immersing uh, into something that is deeply profound and life-changing. It limits us and holds us still in a space and an idea that sex is something separate. Attention is very different to a lot of spiritual practices, not that I would call this a practice, and religions as in that it doesn't suppress sex or shame sex. It welcomes sex, it embraces sex. It is what we are born of and where we are born from and in a very essential part of thriving in life and being creative and an essential ingredient to being you. So why Tantric Massage? As an authentic Tantric therapist, my intention is not to create happy endings and whole body orgasms and teach you how to have greater sex. Yes, it is a, a byproduct of all that, but Tantra is in about supporting the person to become whole. We very much live life and live from a place of separate boxes where anything from the waist down just comes out for sex and parties and having babies. And we also very much live in our heads. We've become a very hedistic society where we're always thinking, always got this monkey chatter so tantric massage brings a person into their body and allows any shame, trauma, guilt. It gives permission for the person to totally sink into their sensuality and sexuality. And from that place of wholeness, we then teach that person to live life from a place of wholeness, to interact with others, to interact with life from a place of wholeness. Now I mentioned shame and guilt and trauma because the whole of the body is touched and caressed and honoured and loved. To me it doesn't matter whether I'm touching your earlobe or your, or your elbow or your, your baby toe or your yawning and lingam, it's all adored, all loved and this gives the person permission to simply be, to simply move into and to own their sexuality and sensuality. And from this, trauma can be released, whether that's abuse, a time where we wanted to say no and didn't say no. Um, any limiting beliefs we hold around sex, things we were taught as a child or we heard somebody say and, we, and we've held on to that belief. It removes armour, it de-armours around this area so that we can then sink in. And this affects how we feel in our body how we own our sexuality, how sensual we are as a person, our ability to create our dreams and, and goals, our ability to be intimate, our ability to interact with life, to interact in relationships. It, it changes so much. It allows us to kind of live life from the inside out rather than from the outside in if that makes any sense at all I know what I'm trying to say um, it's a real sinking into the skin and in into the bones 
and often we haven't been given that permission. My way of kind of giving you an example is that to me, children are very tantric. They are totally, totally in their bodies. Um, and you can see them radiating and filling out their skin from the inside out. They run because they want to run. They scream because they want to scream. They dance because they want to dance. They are present. They're in the moment. They couldn't give a shit about tomorrow. And they're not thinking about yesterday. They're right here, right now, in their little bodies, breathing deep into their bellies. Um, and they create. They're creative all the time. They can tell you a story, bake a cake, paint a picture, build a Lego house, explore why that snail makes that trail, all before bedtime. And so to me, that children are very tantric. They're running off this sexual creative energy all the time and that's what tantric massage allows before all those beliefs were given to you before the trauma happened before the abuse happened it gives you back that innocence and that simplicity and that curiosity to life so, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this and there's so much more I could say and so much more I want to offer. So if you'd like to know more, you're most welcome to contact me at michellerobertson.com.